I think we're on track to open, what, would you say a week? Uh, probably next Wednesday. It's a lot of responsibility for you. But... For me, I just breathe in calmness and then exhale anxiety. Can I'm you good. tell that to everybody else, including myself? <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go! Make some noise right now! Yeah? Will you help me move this table? Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Hi! How are you, Maya? Hi, I oh, oh, watch Gordo. out. All right, let's go for a walk. Walking. You're on a date with Gordo. He's like a sexy older man. Summer moon, honey. My little angel. You know, not all babies are as cute as you. We're gonna have to give you a manicure. And do like a coffin shape, oval. What do you think? Hey, hey. it's Wednesday. Hey. hey. How you doing? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so to see you. People have been locked up for a year. He insisted on matching sweaters. And now they want to come out. They want to party. So what does that mean? We're back, baby. Wow, what a breath of fresh air to come in here and see your guys' faces. You guys are the only two out of the whole group that didn't have a baby. Yeah, I know. I, I don't mean you two. I mean, we tried. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There must be something wrong with the plumbing, but like we definitely tried. <laughs> During quarantine, Katie and I decided to really put a concerted effort into trying to make a baby. It was a two month window in which we were really working on it. What are you talking about really working on it? Having sex when the clock told us to. This is here nice. This is right here, nice right here, right here. out here. Let's plan out what we're going to do with the outside terrace. We don't want to spend too much money out there because we don't know how right. permanent it's going to be. Mm. Well, this is kind of bringing everybody's ideas together. I don't know if I want to say anything right now, just like, because we have so much to do, but like, Lisa, I think she knows that we're opening a new spot. As amazing as it is to see Ken and Lisa, I'm also slightly nervous, because I don't know if they know if we're opening a new place or not. All right. We got to do a double-decker booth, like up here, Ooh. eating. Ooh. Yeah. I got a hard on. We have to tell her. I can't like I be mean, intimidated by her anymore. She's our partner. <laughs> In the mafia, like doing a side gig, it's like, not a good thing. You uh, betrayed the family. Don't worry, it's no big deal. Cut to like a piano wire. Seriously though, it's good, it's good to be back. There's a lot of work to do. I know. Um, at the moment, we haven't got any bartenders. So. Look, we can definitely help out, but we, we, are, we are in the moment. We are like slammed. We, we are, you know, I- Slammed? All right, I heard, and I, I would just like to hear it from you. Are you guys opening another restaurant or a bar? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what's what's the theme there? This is gonna be like James Thoreau, uh, a light artist, like went over to his grandma's house and took some acid. Like, <laughs> well, okay. It's really That's pretty bold. Cool. What's the name? We're still working on the name. Actually, we have settled on a name, and it's Schwartz and Sandy's. Look. Your Tom really likes the name that he came up with. My Tom hates it. Yeah, I think it's yeah. They are on horrible. opposite sides. You want to make it like psychedelic, funky, fresh, lights, textures, and then you want to call it and Schwartz and Sandy's. Oh, I'd lost my boner. I feel like this is like a family business. Once they like start getting in there and getting things sort of like set up, I can come in and help. Katie and I have gotten pretty close, but Tom Sandoval and Katie have kind of always clashed. So I'm not really sure how much he's gonna love the idea of Katie being involved in the bar. You're talking about shit that you don't know about. I'm not talking. You're you talking don't about shit you don't know about. You don't know about. about. No, you don't. Get the out of here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna fucking hate it. Yes. I want you to know that we support what you're doing. We admire you for that, because it's not easy. Ah, we didn't know exactly how you... how it was going to be perceived. Yes. So thank you for your support. So thank you. It's so really appreciate it. It takes a little less off the off the anxiety. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, I love you guys. Yeah. All right, love you too. Come on, come on, give me a Can hug. you not wear those green sweaters? I know.
Here's the cosmopolitan and the strawberry me. If you guys need anything else, my name's Charlie, okay? Thank you for calling, sir. How can I help? Hey, girls. Hi, Hi. Lisa. I haven't really seen you. I've been here. I just feel like every time I'm here... I'm not, not here, and every time I'm here, you haven't been here, but I've seen you. Yeah. Every Nasty. time I'm here, you're here. Uh, yeah, exactly. How are you? Good. Yeah. Today I got three auditions, so I feel like... Yeah. I know. I don't want to lose you, though. Suddenly you're going to be off oh, on no. an acting job. Anyway, are there drinks that need to yeah, be delivered? Yeah, let me put my mask on. <laughs> your two drinks. I got them. OK, great. I'll see you in there. OK. How's James been? James has been so good. He'll be in here later tonight. He wants to stop by and say hi to okay, me. Okay, I want to see him. He's going to be two years sober in two months. James has made so much progress. He's been sober ever since I gave the ultimatum to him. If you can't get your sh together, then we will break up. Okay, well, it's good to hear. But James does still smoke weed every single day. I guess you could say James is a California sober. Hello there. Oh my god, look what the pussy dragged in. How are you? I'm okay. How May are I you? Take a seat? Oh yes. Behaving yourself? Yes. Have you? I would, I would say so. I've just done so much self-reflecting and I'm enjoying life so much, Lisa. Life's been great for me. I'm actually doing better without the alcohol.